ओके स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर एक्टिविटी नंबर सिक्स कलर द ट्रू स्टेटमेंट ग्रीन एंड फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट रेड यू हैव टू कलर द स्टेटमेंट रेड एंड ग्रीन इफ दे आर ट्रू एंड फॉल्स सो द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज अर्थ वॉम हैज टू सेट ऑफ मसल्स इन साइड इट्स बॉडी द एनिमल दैट आर अर्थ वॉम हैज टू सेट ऑफ मसल दैट इज ट्रू Involuntary muscles work automatically, and we cannot control them by thinking about it. That's true. I told you in in my previous slide that involuntary muscles are move automatically; they are not in our own control. So the statement is true. Muscles that are joined to bones are called involuntary muscles. No, muscles that are joined to bones are called voluntary muscles. So the statement is false. A human body has more than 650 muscles. That is true. Insects and birds do not have any muscles. No, false. Insects and birds are also have muscles. Our heart is made up of muscles. Yes, that statement is true because our heart made up of different types of muscles. Okay, student. This is our activity number seven. Study the photos below of people taking part in different sports and decide. which bone they are using in the particular action they are performing write your answer in the space provided okay beta sabse pehle aap pehli picture dekhe to usme ek aadmi hai jo ke pani mein boat ko chala raha hai aur aapne batana hai ki uske andar uske kaun se bones aur joints use ho rahe hain so the sports that the person is doing is river rafting and the bones that are used are humerus radius ulna and joint are elbow and shoulder Moving toward our next picture, this is a picture of a man playing a cricket. So, what type of muscles and bones are using in this picture? So, this is a sport that are that is cricket. The type of joint are wrist, elbow, shoulder, and bone. Are humerus, radius, thigh bone, and shin bone. Now, this is picture number three. In this picture, children are playing football. So in football we use bones that is uh, thigh bone and shin bone and joint is knee cap Students this is our activity number 8 what will you need two lolly sticks ice cream sticks a rubber band or an inflated balloon hine tape or thread Okay you have to take two lolly sticks Like this, inflated balloon से आपने उसको join करना है and a rubber band to stretch it up. Now, what we have to do in this activity, you will need created a triangle from two wooden pieces like this, a hang and a rubber band or an uninflated long balloon. Step number two, move the stick and observe carefully. Now you have to move these sticks and observe carefully what is going in this activity. Okay, student, these are some questions which is asked from you to the activity that I explained before. The question number one is, which part of your model resembles bone? The model that you make with the help of lolly stick, which uh, part belongs to which resemblance? Two lolly sticks resembles bone. So the lolly sticks that we made attached with the help of balloon resembles bones. Which part of your model resembles joint? Inflated balloon resembles joint. We attach inflated balloons at the upper side, so it resembles joint. Which part of your model work as a muscle? So the rubber band works here as a muscle. mention the part of your body that move in the same pattern as your model so uh, our legs and hands move in the same pattern like in our model 